hi guys and welcome to my channel okay and my first video as well so bear with me but today I have here with me um, the Saver Life Planner and that's made by Saver Life Beauty I believe and it is my next 90 days and I am so excited about this planner guys and I'm gonna show you why so stay tuned okay when you first open this planner up you just see uh, this planner belongs to page pretty basic pretty simple it works this next page as you can see is this planner is made up of four components and this is what I really love about this planner because I have not ever seen another planner on the market that is quite like this one so the first component is savor life knowing what you want out of life and what you want to achieve is the first step in living your full potential if you can see it you can have it and this is something that I really truly believe so the fact that there's other people out there that believe that and that they actually put it into a planner system is pretty amazing to me. I love it. Um, the second step is 90 day vision and it says chunking it down into 90 day increments gives you enough time to gain flow and shift if necessary. And I really love this concept because I'm one of those people that I tend to take on everything and then I accomplish nothing. And by that I mean I get little bits of everything done. I don't actually accomplish everything I'm trying to do. So then I feel like I'm not ever getting anything done, and even though this isn't true, to some extent it is because, well, I'm starting things and then moving on and not finishing the last thing before I start the next thing because I feel like I have a million things to do. So I'm really hoping that this aspect of this is going to help me with that a lot. Alright, my next thing, or I'm sorry, the next thing is weekly daily rituals, and this is really cool too. This is carving out time for deliberate planning helps you to work smarter not harder simplify edit and savor your essentials this is really cool because I've really been struggling with my planner lineup and having time to do it and getting time to do it so actually looking at my schedule and blocking that time in is going to be really great and maybe even simplifying it by cutting it down and just narrowing out the fat okay the next step and the last step is making this space your own gives you freedom to use for extra to-dos, projects, meal planning, and even more. And I'm going to show you what they mean by that. Okay, so this next page goes right into what you're doing. Step one is Savor Life Planner. How do I want to savor life? What do I want to experience? What do I want to create and accomplish? And this is going to be great for me because right now I'm actually working on creating um, lots and lots of new products for an Etsy shop that will be opening soon. So keep an eye out for a link in the description for that in future videos. It's not quite open yet. Okay, and then on here it says how I want to feel. This is great. As we all know, acknowledging our feelings is a really important thing. And it has Savor Daily, and this lets, lets you write little savers like meeting a friend for coffee, having a picnic with loved ones, shopping for shoes, getting a facial, or hosting a dinner party. This is just a great space, I feel like, to kind of keep track of what you're doing, and especially those important moments that you don't want to forget. You can write the moment, the date, and always remember it every time you look back in your planner. Okay? Then you have Saver Life over here. This is right big savers like vacationing to Hawaii, buying a home, getting the next professional level, volunteering for charities, or writing a book. Again, really, really great here. This is a way to keep track of all of the big things you're doing. I love it. I think this is amazing. I, I'm shocked, actually, that nobody came up with this sooner. And I really commend Saver Life for this idea and this concept. Like, it's amazing to me. I think the only real complaint that I do have about this planner, to be completely honest, is that the binding is just a little bit, um, I don't want to say cheap or chintzy. It's just a little bit, um, it could be a little better. But it's okay. It's something I can get past. And especially since this is a 90-day planner. I think it's amazing. Okay. So the next page is, sorry guys, the next page is Who Am I? And I think this is great too because this lets you really reflect deeply on yourself and I'm going to have so much fun filling this out. So who am I? And it says when you are not clear who you are, who you spend energy, who you spend energy when you are too when you are not clear who you are you spend energy covering up your brilliance sorry I really need a new pair of glasses 
When you get clear on who you are, you attract your ideal relationships and experience into your life. Think through one or all of the questions, do this activity with others. And this is a lot of fun. So this is something that you guys, I mean, as I go through these, you guys are welcome to do them yourselves and leave comments in the comment section. I think it'd be a lot of fun to see um, what people have to answer about these questions. So you're welcome to do that. Okay, the first question is, what do I value? What's important to me? So again, if you want to leave what you value or what's important to you down in the comments, I think that'd be a lot of fun to see what people have to say. Um, the next one is, what comes naturally to me? What is my talent? Again, if you guys want to leave your talents in the comments, I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, what do I enjoy doing? Again, leave some of your guys' favorite hobbies in the comments. That would be a lot of fun. Um, I am my best self when I. Again, really makes you look deeply. Um, the next one is, I am not my best self when I. I think that's great. I think we all should acknowledge the negative things in our life and try to make them better. Growth is amazing, guys. I'm always trying to grow. Um, what shifts do I want to make in the next 90 days? So basically it's asking what do you want to change in the next 90 days? Um, with whom do I want to connect or to collaborate? I think that's a really fun one. I think that's just a way for us to grow and just connect with more people on a daily basis. I think that's amazing and especially for someone like me who is a full-time college student learning how to network and who is also an entrepreneur trying to build my own brand and my own business and my own Etsy shop, I think it's really important for me to ask myself those kind of questions. So I think this is going to be a really great um, personal planner for me and I will do a future plan with me in this if you guys are wanting to see that. So if so, again, leave me comments in the comment section. What is my why and why am I doing this? When you are not clear on who you are, you create powerful plans. Conscious relationships and intentional experiences. So this is just a place for you to be creative as the planner talks about in the front. This is a place for you to sketch, draw, write, whatever you're passionate. You can put collages of pictures here. Whatever you think will help you in this area. So this is really amazing. Okay, part two. Looking back and looking forward. So reflect on the last 90 days and answer the following questions to inspire you for the next 90 days. Now, honestly, it seems to me that perhaps this should have been flipped around so that part two was maybe part one and part one was maybe part two since it's telling you to reflect on the last 90 days to do the next 90 days. Unless they intend for you to start out doing your 90 days and then do this part after you've done the 90 days. So that's a little unclear, but it's okay. Okay, so what have I learned in the last 90 days? Um, pretty self-explanatory. What do I want to do differently? Again, pretty self-explanatory. What's flowing in the last 90 days? That's kind of interesting. What's not flowing in the last 90 days? So I think that probably means, in other words, what's working, what's not working. I think that probably is a pretty good question to ask yourself. In the next 90 days, my personal mantra is... And it's, it explains down here, a mantra is a conscious affirmation, intention, or how we want to feel. So this is like consciously saying this is how I want to feel and choosing to feel that way, which I really love. I love that because if you believe like I do, then you fully believe and acknowledge that feelings are a choice. And I acknowledge mental health. I'm not necessarily getting into the mental health debate. Um, I realize there are mental health people out there that cannot control your emotions, but this is a great way to be able to be more conscious of your emotions and more conscious of the choices that you're making that lead to those emotions. Um, so we all have some control in that area, regardless of anything else. We do all have some control. Okay, in the last 90 days, I want to manifest. So that's basically like... What do you want to make happen in your life? Because this person obviously believes, again, like I do, you can totally manifest things into being. Like, if you say it and believe it with all of your heart and you do everything you can to get there, you really can manifest it into being. 
Um, I will focus on the following activities and how can I add more self-care and soul care to my life. This one is amazing. I love this question. I think we all should be asking it. And again, if you guys want to answer any of these comments or any of these questions in the comments, you are free and welcome to do so. I think it'd be really fun to see what our answers are and it does say to do this activity with others. So I just think it would be a lot of fun. And if you guys are interested, maybe I will go through this section and do like a fill it out with me. So let me know in the comments. Alright, so our next page is seeds. And this is really cool. I really love this. This may be my favorite part of this planner. I kind of giggled and flipped out when I saw it. Okay, so let's do this. Planting seeds is an action that has growing potential. If you plant seeds, they will blossom into an abundant garden. Whenever you commit to a pro proactive task, such as connecting with new people, sending out a proposal, or applying for a new opportunity, this is a planted seed. The more you plant, the more you grow, professionally and personally. Create your seeds list. Carve out an hour at the beginning of your 90 days to create a list of new seeds to plant. Refer to your list daily. I love this, you guys. This is amazing. I cannot tell you, especially as a college student who's just starting out, starting to apply for jobs, starting to do all of that, um, and starting my own business and all those things, I cannot tell you how much I'm going to utilize this page. This is going to be like the best page in the world for me. I'm super excited to use it. And down here, um, it, there's this, this cute little quote that says, put that neck, put a star next to the seeds that have blossomed so you can savor more successes. Um, and I love that as well. Like, I think that's amazing. And it's funny because I was debating. I am typically a happy planner person. If you guys don't know what happy planner is, there's a ton of videos out there. You can check it out. I'm probably going to do some happy planner plan with me um, coming up in the future. So you guys are welcome to check those out. Um, but yeah, so I'm typically a happy planner person, but I truly love this planner. I will definitely be implementing it again. I think I'm probably going to use it as my personal slash extension of my work planner. I do have a happy planner that I use for both personal and work. I have three happy planners that I use total, um, but I may be cutting that down to two because I have my school, my work, and my personal. I just have too much to keep it all in one, but it's all in one binding system. I can show that to you guys. If you're interested, leave a comment below. Um, so yeah, I'm typically a happy planner, but I will totally be implementing this planner into my personal planning stuff. And again, if you guys want to see a planner, planner, plan with me, fill out with me for this planner, or any of my other planners, leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know. That will guide my next videos. Okay, so our next save, saver page in our life saver planner is our saver life tip. And it says, did you know one raspberry has 100 to 200 seeds? Or I'm sorry, that might be 1,000. I can't tell. Um, their tiny seeds are cold pressed in order to obtain one of the most nourishing beauty skills, beauty oils with powerful healing benefits. A raspberry can be a metaphor for a goal that is comprised of hundreds of seeds. Continue to plant seeds daily. It will come back to you in abundance. I really need glasses, guys, and sitting here reading this to you is reminding me very much that I really need to invest in some glasses with my school funding this month. It's going to be a necessity. And before I forget, this just, this page actually just reminded me, um, when I got my Lifesaver Planner in the mail, it actually came with this beautiful raspberry um, saver life beauty um, chapstick, and it's amazing. It does have beeswax in it, so if you're allergic to any of that kind of stuff, be aware of that. Um, but this is amazing. It smells amazing. I absolutely love it. Um, and I feel like I should say, because I don't know if I mentioned it at the beginning of this video, that I was gifted 
this planner by um, Saver Life Planners. Um, they reached out to me on Instagram and asked me if I would like to try their product, and I said I absolutely would. I was very excited about it, and I wanted to bring you guys this video right away so that I could actually start using it. I wanted to show it to you while it was still empty, and um, I'm really excited to start planning in this. So, all right, now we have this like one zero one two three four five thing here and this is like the steps that that she recommends you take I believe that the person that created this planner save her life planner people um, the steps that they recommend you take every day to have a successful life and it starts with zero detox your brain I think this is really important and it says dumping all of the do this do that inner voices out of your head and onto paper is therapeutic and cathartic. Um, refer to your 90 day vision to make sure that your actions align with your intention. This is a great way to have follow through I'm thinking. This is probably how that they recommend that you manage to follow through with your 90 day plan it sounds like to me. Um, the next step, I'm not going to read all of this stuff to you guys because this video is already I feel like getting really long and I still have some stuff to show you. Um, so, define three priorities is the next thing she recommends, and then it's got this great little thing on how she recommends you do that. Um, save her life daily, and this goes through how she, you know, you should, like, save her life, you know, celebrate the successes. Um, structure your day is number three, and then she has her way of doing that. Um, pull, pull, pull weeds, which is something I really love, again, I think that's great. Um, and then plant seeds is number five. Okay, and then moving on from that, this is your monthly spread. You could probably keep track of anything you want to in here. I personally will be keeping track of all of my, um, well, you know, I'm not really sure yet what I'm going to be keeping track of in here. Probably all of my stuff that aligns with what I have written in the front. So that's probably going to be um, just like my reference page for maybe I'll write my goals here. Like I want to have this seed accomplished by this day, this seed accomplished this day, number two, number three seed, number four seed. See what I'm saying? And then um, these must be, oh no, yes, this is another monthly. Okay, so these are all your monthly spreads. They all look the same. You do have a spot over here for notes. It is this really pretty pink. Um, I believe this was called like Radical Raspberry or something like that. Um, but these are all your monthly spreads. They are completely undated, so you can go in and date those yourself, which is something I love because then you can start this plan at any time. Okay, this is your week. Okay, this is not your typical weekly spread. Like if you're like me and you plan with Happy Planner, or um, Erin Condren planners, or even just one of those cheap, like go to Walmart and buy like a, oh I can't think of what the name is, but they're just cheap planners, even if you plan with one of those. This is a very different setup. So you have week one here, what inspires me, um, and this is a page, oh shoot, you guys probably aren't seeing all of this, are you? I forgot. Okay, so this is a page, this is your week one, this is what inspires you. You can write here, you can draw here, you can illustrate here, you can um, put a collage of pictures or even cut things out from magazines, just whatever inspires you, they want you to put here. So that that way when you open up your weekly spread, it's the first thing you see and you feel inspired every time you open it up. That's what I like about Happy Planner, I feel very inspired every single time I use it. I hope you guys couldn't see that cord this whole time, I'm like freaked out now. Okay, <laughs> then they have the steps here that they I showed you in the front. So here's zero, they want you to detox your brain. They've got these great bullet points here so you can write everything out. Um, over here it says delegate, and it says delegate this too, so you can like have this section specifically for maybe like one specific area of your life. Okay. I love the way this is set up. The only issue that I have, is, and, and this may just be my issue, I don't know a lot of other people that struggle strug, struggle with this, excuse me, but I do personally, and that's, I wish this was lined, because I have a very hard time writing in a straight line when my paper's not lined, so I wish that this was lined, but I will live with it not being lined. I can maybe line it myself. We'll see how well I do that. 
Um, and then we have number one here, which is define three priorities, and it gives you a place to do that. Number two here, which is save your life daily, and this, this is where you highlight a save your life activity from this list you crafted in your vision. So this is like where you highlight, oh, I accomplished this from my list, which I think is fun. Okay, and then here is your more typical weekly spread. And what I like about this, oh, excuse me. What I like about this is it is lined, okay? So this is going to be amazing for me to be able to come in here, write my stuff in, and just kind of really be productive. Um, this gives you a place, this is your number three. This is um, structure your daily life. So this is where you would go in and write in all your tasks that you want to get done on this day, this day, and this day. This planner does go from Monday to Wednesday. And then on the other side, go from Thursday to Sunday, which actually just says weekend, which is great. I think that's great. Um, and this is set up as far as like the three days on the one side and the three days on the other. This is set up like the happy planner. So that will be good to me. That will be recognizable for me. And I really like that. Okay, so again, this has your plan out your daily day. This is pulling weeds, which I love. And this is planting seeds, I believe. Yes, this is planting seeds. And then down here, you have a little section where it says um, success, gratitude, and self-care. So it allows you to write each day these things, which I think is amazing. And as a happy planner, you know that a lot of us use stickers and washi and those kind of things in, in um, our planners. And I feel like you could do that in this planner. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do that in this planner, but I feel like you could totally, if you're a decorative planner, you could totally get into decorating this planner because it's got so much um, free creative space. There's a lot of room for you to be able to do that. And again, this is the same thing on this side. You're planning out your everyday, pulling weeds, planting seeds, taking time to acknowledge your successes, your gratitudes, and all of that, which all of those things are so important. Okay, now, this section is going to be your extra daily to-dos, notes, meal planning, and projects. So really, this is going to be your anything you want to do page. I personally think that I probably am going to maybe do some meal planning on this page, maybe some project planning on this page, because I do a lot of projects for my Etsy. As you guys know, that's a handcrafted site, so I handcraft a lot of things for that site. I have some great ideas of future things I'd like to do, some things I'm currently working on to open the site, and I feel like this is going to be a great place to like kind of like plan out those projects, put what it's going to be, put what materials I need, all of those things. So that's going to be a lot of fun. They have a days of the week here. This may be one place where I kind of cover it up and just this is going to be like this. But we'll see what I end up doing. They have your days of the week abbreviated up here for all of your projects. Your days of the week abbreviated up here for all of your extra to-dos or your projects. However you want to lay this out. This is kind of your like creative space along with the other space I showed you. And then again, it just this is more of this. And then we have the next step. And this is just kind of more creative space, it looks like, which this is um, containers for thoughts, meetings, projects, ideas, visioning, and doodling. So yeah, this is just more creative space for you to kind of use as you wish. If you have meetings you want to document, um, thoughts you want to get down, projects and ideas. Again, I think this is going to be a great page for me to kind of just get my stuff out. Um, on things I would like to create for my Etsy shop and also maybe projects for my classes in school. Um, I just think overall this is going to be an amazing tool to implement into my life and I cannot wait to get started. Okay. And again, this is just organize your thoughts and projects into containers just like a, well, a well-organized closet. I mean, what woman doesn't love a well-organized closet, right? So this is like organizing your life into a closet. What woman can't relate to that? I can. Okay, so. And again, this is just more creative space. I'm going to guess that you get one of these every week, but I'm not 100% sure. I have not been all the way through this planner. And this is something I really love as well. I'm not going to flip it over. It's just lined paper on both sides. 
this is lined. There's nothing on it. It's completely blank. It is for you to do whatever you wish. And I love, love, love that this is lined paper. If I find I have a hard time using this, I can come over here to this lined, and it's going to be amazing for me. And you get two full pages of it. And this is a good size planner, guys. So that's a good amount of space for a week. Okay? And then this is just week two, and it kind of starts over. And as you can see, you get all the same things. Like, let me just put this over. As you can see, it's stuck. Yep, you get those two pieces every week. So that's a lot of space, guys, for one week. I mean, you get a ton of space to be creative in this planner. And to kind of customize it and make it your own and do with it what you need. Um, and I love the fact that it organizes it into sections. This is just amazing. You have week three. This is, again, a three-month planner, which is 12 weeks. Week four, um, week five. And they're all just the same, you guys. Like, it's all this beautiful pinky, which pink is my favorite color of all time. So that works great for me. But you can see this is week five. It looks exactly like week one. Like, there's absolutely no difference at all. I'm kind of trying to get through these because I know this is a long video. Week six is the same thing, and it goes all the way to 12, you guys. Okay, so there's 12. And then once you get past 12, it, um, I believe, oh, look at this. Okay, so here we go, guys. This is kind of amazing. Okay, so this is the end of your week 12. And at the very end of your week 12, you get all this extra paper. And I'm really excited, you guys, because I didn't realize there were stickers, and there's stickers in the back of this book, so stay tuned. Okay, you get all this amazing lined paper. It's got this really pretty, um, ooh, see, the binding is my one issue. It's got this really pretty, um, picture here. It's probably upside down for you guys. I'm sorry about that. Um, and it's got this pretty quote. I'm not going to read it to you because, again, this is getting to be a really long video, you guys, and I'm super sorry about that. Um, but anyway, so it's got all this great line paper, and then you get back here, and it's got this dot grid paper, which is kind of amazing. And as you flip through, you see you get all this dot grid paper, which for anybody who likes to doodle and draw or can write without lines, that's amazing. Um, then there's some lined paper, as I said before. Um, and then at the very end, you get this great, yeah, here's the stickers, you guys. This is amazing. I did not know these were here. That tells me you are supposed to create in this. You're supposed to use stickers. That's exciting to me, and I love that there's some attached in this book. That is incredible. It's just one page, but that's okay with me. That's incredible to me. I think that's amazing. Okay, and then on this very back page back here, which I'm having an issue now that I've touched this, of course. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm having an issue now that I've touched this, of course, getting it to lay down. Okay. It says, looking back and looking forward. What have I learned in the last 90 days? What do I want to do differently? What's flowing and what's not flowing? This is incredible. Okay, so not only do you get to, like do the amazingness of planning out your 90 days, but you then get to reflect on your 90 days and plan out your next 90 days if you're smart like me and are going to get more Lifesaver planners because these things are amazing. Um, so I will see if I can find a link to Lifesaver Planner and try to leave it in the description. Keep in mind, guys, this is my first video, so I'm kind of just learning how to do this. Um, having said all of that, looking at the back cover, I also just realized there's a pocket back here. It doesn't feel like it's going to hold a ton of stuff, but it will hold stuff. So that's amazing. I love, love, love that there's a pocket. I was kind of bummed there wasn't one in the front, so I'm really happy there's one in the back. And I really just want to say that I love this cover. This is a very sturdy feeling cover, considering what it is. And I love the way it's wrapped. This is, this is amazing to me. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my review of Lifesaver Planner and my next nine, or Saver Life Planner. I think I keep saying that backwards. Saver Life Planner and my next 90 days. So I'm excited to get into this. You guys leave your comments down below if you want to see me plan in this or write in this at all. Um, and leave your comments down below if you want to answer any of the questions that were in this book or if you want to see me plan in any of my planners or even just see a flip through of any of my other planners. And um, in the meantime, have a great day, guys. And please subscribe and like this video if you want to see more. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye.